Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 4, verses 32 through 37. The church, the true church, takes care of its own. Verse 32, the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and soul. In other words, everybody was together as one. It's like they loved one another so much. It was like they had, they were all of one heart, all of one soul. Not one of them claimed that anything of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. In other words, everybody was like, hey, whatever I have is yours. They shared everything. It's like they were just like one big family, literally. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Great grace was on them all. With great power, they gave testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Now, that is very, very vague, right? But you gotta, you gotta wonder, what great power did they exhibit? There's a lot of things that are not told us here, but all we know is whatever they did, they did with great power. You know, assuming it's miracles, signs, wonders, and, and other things. Boldness, like we just read in the passage before. With great power, they gave testimony to the resurrection of Yeshua. For neither was there among them any who lacked Wow, that's awesome. I mean, nobody lacked anything. Nobody said, well, I need that, I need that. Everybody got what they needed. They shared with one another and nobody lacked anything. For as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of the things that were sold and laid them at the apostles' feet. Now that is trust and that is dedication. That is what I call believing, okay? And distribution was made to each according as anyone had need. Joseph, who by the apostles was also called Barnabas, which is being interpreted, son of encouragement, a Levite, a man of Cyprus by race, having a field, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Isn't it awesome for the believers in Yeshua, the true Christians, to look after one another? You know, without having to rely on the government, without having to rely on anything, any kind of government help at all, but to have the church take care of its own. This is part of the model of the Book of Acts Church. Let's seek that. Let's seek God. Let's seek the Lord. Let's seek to be as the Book of Acts was. Let's seek to be a community as the Book of Acts was a community. And call upon Him and He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.